We've done a number of studies with the American Productivity and Quality Center in Houston, which I guess is the largest not-for-profit benchmarking society in the world. Now, they focused on product quality for many, many years, but in more recent uh, decades, they've started to look at uh, things upstream from, from manufacturing, such as uh, R&D and uh, product design, etc. And in our benchmarking studies with their many, many member companies, and they're, they're in the hundreds, thousands, um, we find that four themes stand out as the key to success. When we look at highly successful, innovative companies, companies that make a lot of money and achieve their objectives, etc., four things consistently stand out. And the first one is successful businesses in product development seem to have a robust, well-articulated, well-communicated, and right-on product innovation and technology strategy. That's up at the top of this, this diamond. The second theme is they make the right investment decisions. So not only do they have a strategy that gives them direction, they put their money where their mouth is and actually make the right investment decisions, which is what portfolio management is all about. Portfolio management is a relatively new term in the lexicon of new product development terminology. It, it first came to the fore about 1993 when some group in Boston, I think it was Arthur D. Little, published a book called Third Generation R&D, where they talked about making the right investment decisions and borrowed a term from the financial community, namely portfolio management, the same kind of term they would use to manage your pension plan or something. And, and many of the techniques that financial portfolio managers use, with modification, it was argued, could be applied to product development. Because what we see in product development is that every R&D project or every new product project is an investment. And just like investments in the stock market, they can be managed. They can be managed, you know, one to sell high, one to sell low, etc. And, and these, some of these same techniques can be applied with significant modification. So that's what portfolio management is about. It is not project management, by the way. It's portfolio management, making the right go-kill decisions. Uh, two other things you might want to think about is, is execution. And that's at the bottom of the diagram. Having an effective idea to launch system, or as Michelle had pointed out, I, I came up with a the stage gate process some years ago, most companies in the United States, and in fact globally, in the Western world anyway, are using some version or variant of stage gate. And finally, and a very important topic, and that is the people side of the equation. Having a positive climate and culture that fosters innovation within the corporation and the right leadership from the top. So these are the four elements that we find common to successful businesses. As a bit of a sanity check here, you might want to judge yourself or, or measure yourself on each of these. Do we have a well-articulated, robust, and right-on product and innovation and technology strategy? Do we have a portfolio management system that helps us make the right investment decisions? Do we have an effective idea to launch system, an up-to-date, proficient, well-oiled, adaptive, agile, an accelerated process to get new products to market? And finally, do we have the right climate, climate culture, and leadership. These are the four keys to success. 